Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Pure Farming 2018. We are just heading off over here, and yes, you can see, by the way, that I'm erratically driving around, and I'm still using keyboard and mouse, and I intend to keep doing that for a little while with this series. Uh, you may also be wondering, why am I actually doing this series, when uh, today I should be doing Farmer's Dynasty? Now, I've given this a lot of careful thought. And Farmer's Dynasty is still unavailable. It's been well over a month now since it was last available to buy. Now, I got no sort of issue with that as such, We've, but the thing is, we've heard absolutely nothing. In an entire month, we haven't heard anything new at all from devs or anything else. So there's something's going on, and we don't know what it is. We don't know... Who it looks very much like this is a deliberate a sabotage attempt. The way that the copyright claims are coming against them and then being done and then waiting until the last very possible second and being done again, so on and so forth. It doesn't look very good, does it? That being said, um, the updates have slowed down considerably. There has been zero communication from the devs for quite a long time. And so I've taken the decision not to play, uh, not to do videos of the game. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not going very fast just because I want to put this across. Uh, I've taken the somewhat difficult decision to not play the game until the until until we've had some updates, until we've had some kind of information from the uh, devs about just what is going on. Why am I doing that? Um, well, hang on, right, I need to fold. Uh, then I can rotate the plows. So you've got to fold it to be able to rotate it on this one. And then I can unfold. And the reason I'm doing that is because it wants to be over that side like that. So it's turning away from the middle. And then we can drive into the same, um, to the rut that we were doing. Right. So yeah, we've, we've got this uh, job to do on here. But yeah, um, I've been thinking about, well, should I or shouldn't I be playing... Um, the game. Should, should, should I keep playing the game? Should, should, you know, should, should I take a break from it for a while? I'm not, I'm not really sure. And so I've decided that I will take a break from it until this legal issue gets sorted out. Because I know that a lot of you like to be able to play along and a lot of you want to be able to play the game. And I've had a lot of comments on the videos since I started doing them. Seen you playing this, really want to play it. The game's not available. Why can't I play this game? And I... It, it's causing a lot of frustration, nobody being able to play the game that I'm currently uh, showcasing. And it's not like it's an early access, we don't know any details whatsoever about this game, whether or not it's going to work, or uh, whether we're going to actually eventually get it, or yeah, anything at all. There has been, there's, there's nothing, we, we don't know anything at all. So until we actually get something, I decided that I will take a break from Farmer's Dynasty. Now, once it's been dealt with, once uh, that they've sort of they've ironed out those issues and it's, it's been dealt with, and it comes back online, so that you are all able to buy it, then I will start making some more videos. So in the meantime, I thought, well, what I'll do is I will start doing some more pure farming because there's quite a lot of you that seem to like pure farming. So I will play this game on uh, the, the day, because you know, I was going to be doing uh, three different farming games. So what I'll do, this one twice a week, and I will do the farm manager once a week. So I'll do this one today. Tomorrow I'll give you some farm manager, and then on Saturday we'll have a bit more pure farming. Um, so you've got daily farming game videos every, yep, daily videos every single day. And uh, that'll, that'll just keep going. Right, I've got three new males at the moment. This is going to take me a while if I've got to keep doing this every single time. Because you can't do it quickly either. You've got to wait until the, the various options come available before you can do it. It's the folding and unfolding that is a little bit unsatisfactory. It takes quite a while to do the folding and unfolding. And then... Oop, right. Uh, that was V. I want to do that because I want to look in here. As you may have guessed, I have a task where you allow me to explain. An order came in for 8,000 kilos of grain. To complete the task, you need to plow and plant the field ahead of us. Then harvest the crops and transport them to the warehouse. Don't worry, as usual, I'll help you in any way I can with my advice, of course. After we wrap things up here, you'll be able to work for your own money. Right, so we're doing all of that. And then we've got the plow. Plow, also spelled plow, P-L-O-U-W. See, this spelling here, P-L-O-W, O-U-W, O-U-G-H. Goodness me, I can't read at all. P-L-O-W. I know that you guys in the States spell it like that. I don't know about anywhere else in the world. I don't I don't know how you guys spell it. But here in the UK, 
the second spelling, P-L-O-U-G-H. This is how we spell plow. And the number of times I've been told I'm spelling the word wrong because I haven't spelt it with a W, whereas when I look at it, that just seems wrong. That That's, um, yeah, that seems very, very wrong. It, it just does not look right. This is how I spell plow. So, yeah, they've actually put both versions in in here, and I quite like that. That, that does please me a little bit. Right, so we need to go into the field, and I'm working with the plow to start folding. First unfold the plow and then lower it. Next thing to do is drag the lowered plow across the whole field. Unfold, lower, turn the plow, plow the designated field. Right, that sounds simple enough. We ought to be able to do that. Even Frithgar ought to be able to cope with doing that. So then we low lower the plow down. And, right, and we, yeah, uh, what is the, it's the cruise control bit. Yeah, I remember now. Whole cruise control bit that I didn't like. It slowed down as well. If I go a little bit faster, I can go up to 9k doing this. As soon as I engage cruise control, it stays at 9k. Well, it didn't just now. It changed just now. Oh, well. It's changed this. It hasn't changed this time, which is, I suppose, is a really, really good thing. It, it does mean that um, we're able to use the cruise control. No. V is not lift in this game. Z is lift. And then R... So that we can fold it up and then, no, R still. Oh, it would help if I pressed R. I was pressing E. That would be Y. And then Q to turn it. It's a little bit slow to respond to some of the controls, but I mean, it's, it's getting there eventually. And then lower. You're going to do it? Yep, there we go. So it is, there is a little bit of a delay in responding to our various controls, which is... It's a bit of a nuisance, but it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. We don't mind too much about that. It's just a slight bother, that's all. Now, there was hired help that you could use. Uh, doesn't look like there's hired help at the moment. I don't, think there's a, I don't think that's become available yet. I think that we've got to do all of this ourselves before they allow us to use the hired help, which I don't like much. I do, why can't I just use the hired help? You know it's available. We, we all know that the hired help is available, so why, why can't I use it? It would make life so much easier. Let's flip that one over like that. I might actually just not bother with the turning of the plow um, just to finish the rest of this field off. There we go. And we're back away again. Right. So, so far I've done 10%. 10%. Is that all? I thought that I'd done a little bit more than that. Yeah, this is why I want hired help. If I could have hired help doing this, it would make my life considerably easier. I know that I've got the task bar up at, up the top, which is going to make a little bit of a difference. Um, but I don't think it's going to make a massive difference. So what about turning while I'm plowing? Right, it doesn't like turning while I'm plowing. It definitely doesn't like trying to reverse while I'm plowing. Uh, I'm trying to lift it. Nope. Didn't like that either, but I'm, I'm, the reason I want to do it is because I'm going to do a piece along this edge here, and let's just lower that one back down. Go on, you can do it. I don't mind. I don't mind at all if you do it, and then we'll take this one up through here. I'm going to go once around the entire field, and then I'm going to start plowing the inside of the field, possibly even not bother doing the turning, but I'm going to have to do some of this off camera, I think, because you guys are going to get very, very bored with me just doing this plowing. We want to get on with the next job, which is the seed drilling. And I do know that we have hired help available in this game. So as soon as we've got the hired help available, it's going to make our life a lot easier. But I think they want to make us do this first, just to sort of say, ha, 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 look, you do have to do that. And it will also help to... It'll help us to appreciate the work that the hired help is doing just that little bit more if we're using hired help. Yeah, yeah, whenever we use it. If we've got to do all of this first, then when we do come to actually having the hired help there, um, we're really going to value them. And we're, they're, going to be a, they're going to be a proper valued member of the team instead of just being a jolly nuisance. Like, you know, they, they do seem to be so often. You know, they make a little mistake in Farming Simulator. And you're like, and you get sort of irate with them and so on. If we really start to understand just how much work they're doing for us, then perhaps we wouldn't get quite so irate with them. This could be a big collaboration from all the hired helps that have uh, 
<laughs> been yelled at and sworn at all these all these years because they can't do anything right. They can't turn properly at the end of the field. And now we really start to understand and appreciate just how much work they do. Uh, then again, maybe not. It is fairly slow and steady coming along here with the plow. We're getting it done. We are slow. We we are getting through it, but it it like I said, it's it's slow and it's steady, and it's it's um this is not the most entertaining of jobs. This reminds me very much of ploughing in Farmer's Dynasty as well. So I'm I'm really looking forward to being able to get my hired help. I'm keeping the cruise control exactly how I um set it, and then I'm just running the plough into the ground as I, I go along like this, uh, hoping that I get most of it. I'm not bothering turning the plough anymore. I'm just running up through, and this time I'm leaving a, a dirty great strip up across the field, which was not part of the master plan, actually. There we go. That's, that's a little bit better. I have done 60% of the field. It is taking its sweet time. Uh, I've got a couple little tiny strips that we've missed. There's the one there, and then there's uh, another couple of little bits over there. I'm hoping that we don't even have to worry about them to finish this field completely. I, I, at the moment, I don't really know. Um, I have put the time up to three times speed. We've got K and L, which speed it up. So you can go all the way up to 120, 600 times. Let's not do that too much. Um, so I'm, I'm running along at three times speed at the moment. Three seem to be fairly reasonable. Um, I've got the um, cruise control running. The problem is I put the cruise control running and it, it doesn't seem to do anything. Lift. Lift. You can't lift while you're going backwards. It won't even let you do that. So we can go forward again and we can try and lower it in. And I've just got this section here to... To finish out so I will do this as rapidly as I can but it's very painfully slow going so I really hope that after we've done this it will allow us to have the hired help it's gonna make such a major difference to how we're able to do things on here if we can have hired help we're at 70% now we're absolutely flying through it says as he slowly slowly makes his way up across the field if I don't use the cruise control I gain about a kilometre an hour, maybe not even fully a kilometre an hour, more like half a kilometre an hour in speed as I go across the field. The biggest difference when you're not using the cruise control is turning on the headland because it slows right down to that when you're not, uh, when you are using cruise control, but you can sort of speed things up a little bit by engaging the cruise, uh, disengaging the cruise control to, oh, excuse me, um, disengaging it at the... Uh, when when you go to turn on the headland so if you, if you disengage it every time it should speed things up a little bit i mean at the moment it just seems to be better if i don't use it at all hired help that's what we're aiming for here i'm i reckon that once we've completed this task that will unlock the hired help for the game and then we'll be able to use that instead and we won't have to crawl ourselves up and down the field like this we'll be able to just have the hired help doing everything for us so let's lower that one in there again and up across the field and we've got 25 percent to go we haven't got much left now it says 13 percent still to go on the plowed bit on the, uh, the chart on the right hand side however if you look at the bar at the top that is very nearly almost done i reckon by the time we get down to the end of the row here that bar will be full and then we won't actually have to worry about completely finishing all the plowing as soon as that bar is finished ideal as far as i'm concerned we, we are done if that's all we need to worry about. Is it done? Yes, it's done. Right, well, we will just finish the end of this row. You've received mail. You've got mail. Um, yeah, that, that, that's not a film that I'm a fan of. Um, my wife likes that film. Me, not so much. It's, it's, not, it's not really my type of film. Um, she, she does enjoy it. Because Sen, Sen Leia does like that uh, You've Got Mail film. It's... Um, doesn't appeal to me just just doesn't appeal to me very much at all so let's just go over here a second and we'll come around there uh, we can stop let's just read our mail cedar time to familiarize yourself with the cedar as it's the next step in working the field this cedar is usually planting various cereal crops for you setting out you have to fill the cedar with a grain of your choice uh if you left a part of the field untended unplowed or unseeded your total crop yield will be significantly reduced i don't care i'm not doing it anymore i've done enough if you've left a piece behind. 
I, I, I really, at this stage, do you really think I care? You're not giving me the hired help yet. So, it, you know, you know what? I, I, I don't, yeah. It can stay. Right. Uh, detach rear device. I don't want to do that. I actually want to low, uh, move it down first. Lower it down. Then detach. Oh. I'm trying to detach. It won't let me. You've got to detach while it's up in the air, apparently. Right. Now I can detach. I see. It's got to put the stand down, and then it lowers it down for you. It would help if I went the right way. So we have a Great Plains Cedar. I'm familiar with this cedar because this is the one that we start with in Farming Simulator as well. So many of you will also be familiar with this bad boy right here. So let's attach that one. There we go. All attached. And we come out over here. We've got mail, which is probably telling us that we need to fill the seed drill. So let's go over to there. And wheat. Yeah, we want to fill that one wheat like that. And then I will press this one and we will take a look at our mails. Buy grain. Great. Star seed in the field. Just uh, first fill the cedar with a proper crop grain. In this case, we need wheat. Go to the wheat pallet just next to the shed. Stop the cedar right by it. Fill it with grain. Now you've got a full cedar, you're going to start sowing the field. First drive to the edge of the field, then lower and start the cedar. The only thing that's left is to cover the whole field just as you did with the plow. Dirty machinery and vehicles can be cleaned by using the hand wash found near workshops. It's really easy to use. Are you going to let me use hired help yet or are we going to have to do this ourselves? I suspect the answer is going to be that we have to do it ourselves. I'm going to start from this side this time. I'm going to be, I'm going to be a rebel. I'm going to rebel against the system. I'm going to do it from here. Right, let's start there. So I need to F work. Oh, is that all i got to do? Stop working. That is all we've got to do to make this one work. Right, why is it... Is it planting? It's not leaving a planted texture oh it is sort of leaving a planted texture yeah you can see on the mini map it is actually planting stuff but it doesn't look like it, it's not leaving like a, a, a tilled texture on the field like it does with farming simulator so we that is a little bit different so if i stop working i'll lift it out like that and then i'll bring it along this way and i will lower it back down there and then i'll carry on up through here and I'm curious to find out what it's going to be like when we do come back through and we go over the bit that we haven't ploughed. I'm going to deliberately do that bit as well. I may... Uh, you know, at the speed that we're doing this, I may actually just do the entire field. We'll see. Let's see how easy it is for turning. Lift that one out like that. Turning when you've got the cruise control on, it slows it down an awful lot. There is that to take into account, but we can start it up again. There we go. Start working you up across the field there. And if you look at the bar, the bar seems to be filling up at a reasonable rate. Sowing is on 8%. Cultivations is on 0%. So we've got no cultivating done at all. But we do have some planting done. I'm guessing that... Well, does cultivate... I can't remember if it said it needed to be cultivated as well. Or if that was uh, just something extra. Now, if I come out round here... Is it still working? I think it's still down on the ground. It's just not actually counting it as working. You know, I'm not entirely sure. So we'll go up through this way. And then looking at the, the mini-map, it doesn't look like it's actually doing anything to this part. It just looks like it's doing like just to the very edge of it. Where I was doing the plow. We'll soon find out on the, on the very end here what's it going to do. It gave me a bit extra there. So, the bit where we were doing the... It was stopped working. There we go. Then I can pull forward. The bit where we haven't ploughed is also not seeding properly. Which is a little bit of a nuisance. Because it's going to slow us down a bit. Hopefully, it won't slow us down immensely. Hopefully, it's, it's not going to decide that we've got to actually do a little bit more in order to be able to finish the field. Um, yeah, well, we're going to have to wait and see on that front. I really don't know. It's definitely not going to let us do it on the bit that we haven't ploughed. So, I mean, it, at least it's got some accuracy on there. At least it is giving us this um, realism in that it's not letting us do things unless we've actually got the field properly uh, prepared beforehand. And I, I do like that. I just don't like the fact that it's trying to make us do the ploughing. I, I, I don't like doing that ploughing. That was, that was troublesome. I'll back up there. And then 
Oop, steady, steady. Uh, F. We're going to press F to do this. And then we'll come up through here. So I'll do much the same as I did last. I think I'm just going to sort of work this one in one great big loop. Rather than um, running up and turning. Uh, turning on the headland too much. If I sort of do it in a great big circle, it might... Well, not, not a circle. Uh, uh, like I said, a loop. Just uh, up here, down the other side of the field, and just keep working in closer and closer together. It might work. I'm not quite sure at the moment. We'll see how well this comes out. I'm just going to go here. I'm actually going to go all the way along the very top so that I get all of the bit that we ploughed, including that little bit over there. I'm curious to find out if we're going to actually have to plough before... Uh, go and grab the plough and do a bit more before we finished. I'm hoping we won't. I'm hoping that it's not going to decide that this bit has definitely got to be ploughed or it's not going to let us do anything. But we'll, we'll see. So we come back here. And if I just do a run down there so that I'm next to the bit that we're ploughed. There. And then I'll probably have to finish up the field just doing that little strip up through there. And hopefully that little strip will be enough to completely finish the field. We're already approaching 40% now. It's a lot faster than the ploughing. It's still fairly steady going though. It's going to be so much better when we've got somebody who is able to do this for us. That's all I ask. I don't ask very much. I just ask somebody to come along and do all my work for me while I throw money at them. Um, although, to be fair, I think that, uh, that there's a number of people in the world that would like to live like that. Just don't have to do any work. Somebody else comes along and does it for you while you just throw pound notes at them or dollar bills at them or whatever it is that you use in your country of origin or country of choice if you're not living in your country of origin. Whichever country you're in. And whatever money they use, you know, uh, uh, euros, just just throw euros at them, throw pound notes at them, throw dollar bills at them, throw whatever you want, just so long as they do the work and you don't have to. Life is very, very, very simple and cushy when you, when you can do things like that. Unfortunately, in, in real life, um, I, I'm not actually able to do that. I have to I have to go on and do it all myself, which is a little bit of a nuisance at times, but, you know, it's, it's, it's all right. There, there are things to be said for, you know, playing computer games for a living <laughs> it's a lot better than it used to be it's definitely a lot better than it used to be when i was working in the factory that that wasn't quite so much fun you know, i had people throwing pound notes at me but um the, the, the work was was not very rewarding um mindless drone in the factory is it's not really what you need in order to to, to to feel like you're you're living life to its fullest potential it really isn't however playing computer games Probably not living life to its fullest potential either, to be honest, but it's a lot more fun. It's definitely a lot more fun. Now, we have reached... Have we reached 50? We still haven't got to 50%. Why haven't we got to 50% yet? We were almost at 50%. We're almost at the 50% mark, and then... There we go. As soon as I drop down, it'll reach the 50%. That's what I'm after. There we go. Right. We've reached 50%. I will keep struggling onwards, and I will get this little job finished... And then hopefully they will say, you know what? You can actually have somebody come along and do this job for you. I'm starting to think that there may be hope for this one. We may actually be able to do it and have this, uh, the whole seeding job done as well as the plowing one without having to go and rehitching the without having to go and rehitch the plow back on and give this another go. I think we might be able to do all of it just like this. The, the percentage of the field is still going to be low, but if you look at the actual bar at the top, that one's creeping along quite nicely. Now, we're still getting some graphical glitches in this game. It's uh, just these bits. Um, every now and then, it sort of pauses a moment and then reloads as you turn and you know, do different things. It's like there. It just did it just then. Um, it's, it is a bit of a nuisance. I think it's something that they're working on. As far as I know, that there was some um, indication that they... I can't remember where I read it. Maybe it was in the email that the comp they sent me to sort of uh, give it like a, a heads up on the updates that they're doing. Um, they are working on improving the performance of the game, improving graphics, and then they want to start adding in a load of extra stuff. Um, that They want to keep putting in extra things into this game, and they do want to keep... You know, just keep working on it and make the game generally better make the performance better and improve the whole quality of it all the way through which is really really good it's, it's a positive thing um i know that this game isn't for everybody i know that there's a lot of aspects of this game that um 
people are looking at thinking, oh, I don't really fancy that. It's, it's not as well done as some other games, or it's just, you know, that particular style is not to their tastes. But they are listening to the feedback from the people that are playing the game, and they are working hard to make as many improvements as they possibly can. So I do have to give them credit there. Credit where credit is due. They're working hard to give us the game that we want. And you can't... You, you, that's, you know... There, there may be some style sort of changes that um, aren't going to happen with the game, but you can't... We can't really fault them for how they're doing, how they're dealing with the, the launch and everything. Um, they, they are going through, they are working very hard to remove any bugs, and then they're working as hard as they can to get the rest of the game up and running and all tickety-boo. And we should, before we get down to the end here, have the job complete. It'll be any second now. And there we go. Right, we've got to irrigate the field. It's going to be our next task. So we'll take this one. Actually, let's just see what the mail says. So, yeah, it's 90% sowing, 90% ploughed. We didn't have to worry about the little strip after all. And you can see, as we sort of move around, there is some graphical glitches. It's gotten brighter now. I notice it has gotten brighter. Having it on three times speed and we've moved into the day, it is it has, it's brightened up quite nicely. I do like the, the fact that it's done that. It's um, It means that we're not going to sort of have uh, twilight all the time. Excellent job, but remember that proper irrigation is crucial for your field's productivity. If the weather's good, the field will be watered naturally. You don't have to invest in any additional work. The only problem is that it takes a lot of time to irrigate this way, and a rainfall pattern can always change. The other way to irrigate your fields is to use a cistern. You already know how to hook it up and fill it, so I'll focus on the field work. Stop at the edge of the field and start up the sprinkler. Now all you have to do is to drive through the whole field. Start the water sprinkler. Uh... Relying on rainwater isn't a bad idea. You can use the time normally dedicated for irrigation, uh, to irrigation for other tasks. Right, that's that's great and all, but wh where are we supposed to go? Where's the sprinkler? I don't even know where the sprinkler is. Have I got a sprinkler? Irrigate the field. Uh, where's the cistern? There should be a cistern here somewhere, and there should be uh, a something that we uh, we hook up and we use and. I don't know. I'm all confused now. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. I'll back that one up there a minute and unhitch like that. And then we will start going forwards and now I don't really know. Yeah, you can see the way it jumps around. It is irritating the way it's doing this whole jumping around thing. But I'm hoping that it's slowly going to sort of iron itself out. Right. I need to go. It said go to the cistern and then... Drag, you know, go, go into the field and, and spray. Um, turn on, no. Right, well, where is... Where's the, the spray sprayer? I think we got to go over to that field. Where was it? Uh, map. There we go. There's, there's the map. If I zoom out... What's that? Oh, that's my tractor. I see. Right. All is clear. Now, we left ours. There's the orchard over there. The, the shop was up there. And we left. There's our trailer over there. Simpa, Simpma Water Cistern. Right. I, I, do we use that one for doing the spraying as well? You know, I have no idea. I'm assuming that we use that one for doing the spraying as well. We've got over here, we've got a bale fork. Uh, we've got a Galucho. We've got a small front bucket. Akpil Chwast Orchard Sprayer. I don't, it's not going to be the Orchard Sprayer, is it? And then we've got the Trader. We've got the Combine. Uh, what is this? Wheat grains. Rye grains. Barley grains. Right, we're going to drive back towards... Actually, uh, where, where do I want to drive back to? I wish it would stop... No. I just want to turn the thing to there, but is it because it sort of freezes and jumps as you're turning, it makes you flip all the way around so you're looking completely the opposite direction, which is not what I wanted to do. Let me just go there a minute. So I'm... I want to go forward, I think. Yeah, if I go, I go forward, I want to go right through the yard because where I'm headed is out over... Yeah, it's up over that way. That's fine. Uh, so I can, I can find out what this the whole grains thing is. It's down that way. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. It's the pallets for refilling. Pallets for refilling the seed drill. That's what it is. Right. 27k. So it's not a speedy machine, this. It's definitely not a speedy machine. Um, 
Somebody said, I think last week, about a a pickup. I thought that there. I thought we had a pickup here, and I'm sure somebody said that we do have a pickup. And I didn't know that we had a pickup, or I'm not quite sure. Now, isn't it Tab that goes through? The, oh, it is Tab that goes through the vehicles. Um. That's. Oh, hang on. What's that? There's, there's a vehicle there, isn't there? How do I? Oh, we have a pickup. We do have one. Right. We have a pickup, ladies and gentlemen. It's okay. And you press E to cycle through the different groups of vehicles. Um, but we, we don't have to worry about that right now. So I am going to head back over to the orchard that we were working in, which is up this way. And then I'll load up that water tanker that we used. And I'll bring that one back down this way. We're going to need to load it up with water again, I think. Is that water... The, the water by the greenhouse, I'm not sure if that's water we collect or if that's water we take away. Uh, although water we can collect, I know that we can collect water. We go to the big cistern that we were at. We collect the water and then we drive away from there. So hopefully we'll be able to do the same again. Let's we'll see if we can do that. There it is. This is the one that I want. And I bring that one back round here. I don't think this isn't our orchard. This is somebody else's orchard. We just did the work for them, didn't we? Uh, back you up there. Attach. Like that. And now, is this one able to do some more? I can buy for 45,000. I don't have 45,000, so I can't buy it at the moment. Um, is this... I think this is the one that I want. I could be wrong. This might just be a water transport, and it might not actually be able to do any irrigation at all. It's going to be a bit awkward if we can't, because there doesn't seem to be any other machine that we can use. Now, where was the water tank? I think it was this way. I think we drove all the way along here, and then we got the water tank, and then we headed towards the field. I'm going to have to stop fairly soon and say fare thee well, because it's taken quite a long time to do all that ploughing and stuff. So, yeah, I really do hope that in the future we're able to set hired help doing that. We can worry about other jobs while hired help does the, the, the rest of it. But first of all, before we go, we will go up here, and we will see if we can refill. I'm pretty sure it was up here. I'm going on memory now. This is probably a very bad idea for me to actually go on memory because um, you, you all know what I'm like with trying to find my way around anything at all. Generally ends badly. Have we done it? Have I actually... I think I have. I think this is the water point. Yeah, it says stop right there. So we go up to this one. And your property. Water, 100%. Uh, how do I refill? Uh, R for transfer. There we go. F work. Right, so I think we have got the right one. I think we I think that I'm on point with this. I'm actually doing something in the correct fashion. I'm doing something I'm supposed to do when I'm supposed to do it. I'm I'm just on I'm on fire, ladies and gentlemen. I'm absolutely on fire with this. We'll see though. We'll see. I I gotta get over there first. Now this is is this our field? Can I do I go as fast when I'm just cutting across the field? Let's see. I do. I don't slow down. 29,100 euros to buy this field. Then I think, we'll, well, we won't buy it today, but we'll, we'll consider it. So I need to get over to here, and then I start work, and it should chuck a load of water onto the field. Very, very simple. So I don't know how far it's going to chuck, but I bring it up there like that, and then I go F. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, that's brilliant. It's actually spraying it properly, spreading it right across the field. We, we actually got quite a bit of um, overlap that we can use there. So we'll be able to spread it out quite a bit wider. I'm not going to finish this one this episode. We will finish doing the irrigating uh, in our next episode, and then we can um, we'll worry about what we've got to do after that. We've got to transport 8,000 kilos of wheat. We've got to wait for the stuff to dry, for, uh, to, to dry, to grow first. Takes a while to start anything up. But there we go. Working well. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And hopefully in the very near future, we will get some hired help. So we won't be stuck here using a tiny tractor and a tiny plow. Trying desperately to get a field done so that we can sort of progress with the game a little bit. We'll be able to do everything nice and sweet and easy. I'm not sure how long we're going to spend playing on this map. We may decide that we want to move along quite quickly so that we can go to some of the other countries and look at the grapes. I think there's grapes in Italy. A definite one of the ones that I really want to do is the, the one in Japan, the rice planting 
and harvesting and everything and using and doing all of that. Is I've always been fascinated with the way that farming is done in Japan. It's not massive scale. It's much smaller scale than what we do. Um, and, and the way that it sort of works. So I know that there are people that do rice. I know there are people who watch me that grow rice. Uh, but they do it on a big scale. And I'm very, very interested in having a go with the stuff in Japan, which is done on a much, much smaller scale than anything that we do. I think it's going to be very, very cool to get to it. But that's, that's a little way down the line, so we don't have to worry about it yet. And that is all we've got time for today. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.